Alright guys, happy holidays. So, this is just a regular update on what's going on. So, I am working at Temp Service through, and I am at Drive Medical. And they have locations in Georgia, New Jersey, California, Germany, and um, United Kingdom. The Indianapolis office is, or warehouse is the smallest one. So it doesn't really make sense. They're just maybe consolidating or something. But we got off early, so this is my get up. This is my thing. I can do the pallet jack, and what we do is we just print. We print thing, we print and ship, and then you have to match up the boxes and stuff. I like it. I really do like it. I wish that I found this place earlier. There's no loud music. Um, nobody complained about my short shorts. It's hot. These are warehouses. It's summer. It's Indiana. But um, that was a deal breaker on the last job was um, short shorts, shorts too short, and loud music. It's like I would have stayed there. I love the place. Great people. But you know we have over 60 percent humidity um it was i saw 30 degrees celsius on the i have a little tracker thing so um it just fell apart so i'm at this new place i like drive medical i wish like i said it's um it's a little more physical but it flows good. It flows well. I just like uh, printing off. I just like working in the warehouses. The, there's not that much here in Indianapolis. There's offices, warehouses, retail, and restaurants. You know. So if you work at a hotel, that's more clerical. That's kind of like an office. It's easy to kind of have your orders or your parts. I really like picking. I like the place, the last place I worked at with the glasses. I did like it, but of course, you know, there's the barriers of the music was, they played this music, you guys, they played this music constantly like rap hip-hop country metal stuff guitars like i'm not against music you know i'm not against music but it was like this emotional roller coaster and then we they wouldn't let me have the ear things it's like it's, if if this is the barriers you're going to have at a place what when the shi really hits the fan you know, how's that job going to work out? So if you can't wear short shorts and you have loud music, but the people were great and the, they just recycle people at these, at these warehouse jobs. That all being said, I wish I, I don't see what any problems are at this new one. Uh, it pays more, but since they are closing, they're letting us out more it's hard to get the the hours <laughs> you can't have everything can you so you can't have everything so i'm also you know just really bummed out about all the stuff on the internet i can't do anything about the protest there's not there is indiana's not much going on here i guess i don't know but i just don't even feel like like why should i even be on the internet there's the virus 
it's like serious it's like everything got serious and i just make up stuff or you know i just talk about my my life that's I don't know. So I am excited about probably, hopefully, getting back into Target because I like the, I like the picking. Um, I signed up for another shift. The um, one of the managers was just nitpicking. I don't know. I don't see like I don't understand why. Like, it's a warehouse. There's noises. There's beeps. It's ridiculous when when you know they let people. Somebody stole one of my vape things. I didn't report that. People are on their phones, and then they complain that I have a little buzzer thing, you know, to alert people. I have a bell. See, I wear this bell just because you know. Um, you're, I'm quiet. You just want to alert people. It's not like I'm like, people are always freaked out. Oh my God, transgender people here, <laughs> you know, like I just, you can easily sneak up on people. Um, if you're picking or something, not in the last warehouse, cause it was very visual. Like you could see, but at, at the Target warehouse, it, just to notify. So I thought about having some kind of a strobe light or something. And then, uh, like, it's like, wouldn't that be more of a distraction at Target? So we'll see how long I last there. <laughs> but I am really excited about the holidays at Target Warehouse. You guys, it's insane. Like, like, I think at the most, the highest day, they shipped 90, 90K. And then when we were down all the way, like out in February, March, when it was getting really lean and they were letting people go, it was down to like 24K or 23. And I like it busy. I like it busy and they have mandatory overtime, not one day, but two days. And and so if you followed me, you know that I barely made any money last year. I can't keep it. I have these crappy jobs that they don't want you to stay at. And then you're on trans and, and then I, I, I've applied for lots of things. And I think that Maybe they're finding the porn hub, but who's going to hire somebody that's, I think that I would be great because I've had all these, I've worked at all these different types of jobs, but maybe the people's philosophy is like, we want somebody new. We want, we want somebody young and new, but I don't, I, I think that I'm better having all this experience, you know, I just go with whatever they pay me. I work hard. I want to get along with everybody. I have other skills besides the warehouse skills that I can bring there. So I'm hoping Target works out that I can get back in there for the holidays because this place, Drive Medical, is closing and um, I have massive debt and, you know, I can make more at, at Target and then mandatory overtime. So you're working, you're working 40 hours. Like they cut you off at like 55, 56, 58, something like that. There's some kind of cutoff. Anyway, the fall is coming. I want to make more electronics stuff on my channel. I got electronics. I want to make more electronics and make the channel more about electronics because if I talk about something that's in the news or the hip hop or music community, like after a couple of years or something, you know, you just rant and have fun. And then after a little bit, like, it's not going to be enduring. I want to be enduring. So thank you for watching.